Jordan Moore, Sean Cody, Audrey Nurse, and Nicole Nurse, the Nurse Twins, now juniors at USC Beach Volleyball. Number three team in the nation right now. We had a little early loss to UCLA, but been hot ever since. How's the team shaping up now? What, 14 straight dubs? Yeah, we're looking good. Um, just growing every day, learning, and just trying to get better. Tell us about that bounce back. Obviously, that UCLA game, you look after that, it's just W's after that. What did you guys learn from that experience that you took, that you're carrying on right now throughout the season? Um, well, for one, you have to approach every single matchup the same way, um, especially going up against a team like UCLA. They're always going to give us a run for our money. Um, and we opened up a little flat. Um, it, it was our second game of the season, um, and that's not an excuse or anything. But I'll give you a little bit of wiggle room. <laughs> um, anyways, we you know we were reminded that we have to approach every game uh, playing our brand of volleyball, out to dominate, and you know unfortunately we didn't. But that's a learning experience, and we're definitely gonna improve on that. And um, we're super excited to to play them again in the next few weeks. So. So let's discuss the obvious, right? So you're twins, and you, you end up in a pair of sport. Give me the sort of origin story. Were you individual athletes? Were you always sort of uh, going to take advantage of this clear simpatico you have as, as, as a pair? Yeah, i definitely say it worked out uh, really well. But growing up, we played every sport you could think of. And I particularly really loved soccer. Nicole really loved basketball, and those were kind of our two favorites. And then... We started playing beach volleyball in the summers around the age of 12, and we realized that we'd much rather play together as a team um, than individually with a lot of other people. We just had more fun with each other, and so we stuck with it. And obviously the righty-lefty combo really worked out as well. So, yeah, it's, it's been a fun ride so far. You always hear about the communication, you know, between even between siblings. Uh, what's the communication like when you guys are out there in the court? Do you have to talk? Is it just telepathic can you just send her a message to her just like just beam it over to her and let her know hey I'm going this way yeah we um we definitely feel each other on the court a lot of times we don't have to say anything and it's honestly something that we've tr been trying to work on it's something that we have to improve on um but just been we've been playing together for how many years now T over 10 like 12 years um, we, 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 we know where we don't have twin telepathy isn't really a thing. We always joke about that. Everyone asks, not like, a thing, Sean, stupid you read question. Each other's minds. Like, no, not necessarily. Uh, but we definitely know where each other is going to be just because we've played with each other for so long. Um, and oftentimes we don't need to communicate. Um, but communication is important in every relationship and it's essential, um, for us to have when we play in order to, to win. We've learned that early on that communication is very key, even though we may know where each other is going to be. Um, but yeah, it, it being, being a twin and having the connection we do, it definitely helps us when we're playing because it just gives us an advantage over other teams because we've been playing with each other for so long. Are your personalities different? And how so? I Those assume they are. the exact so. same person, Jordan. <laughs> I well, sure make fun of my questions now. <laughs> I'd say we're, we're slightly different. Slightly, um, just slightly. Yeah. I think Nick is a little, I call her Nick. Nick. Got it. <laughs> um, she's a little bit rough around the edges between the two of us. I don't know if you can talk on that. But. Yeah, I would, I would say so. Um, you know, we, we always, whenever someone asks us this question, we always say we have the same um, interests. We have, we, we like the same things. We do pretty much the same thing. Um, but we definitely have different personality traits. Um, I would say I'm definitely a little bit rougher, more rough around the edges. Audrey's a little bit more sensitive. Um, but honestly, we balance each other out really well and, and we bring the best out of each other. Complimentary, like me and Jordan and Max, we all compliment each other. It's a yin and yang. I love this talk, man. That's definitely not the same. Just great stuff. <laughs> you obviously, you guys talked about the uh, the schedule coming up. UCLA Invitational coming up. U LSU team playing Hawaii. Some big games coming up in April. What's what's the team gearing up towards? Is it going in the right direction right now? I think it's definitely going in the right direction. Um, we're just trying to to take everything one day at a time and focus on getting one percent better. Um, you know, we want to peak by the time we get to nationals. Um, and 
we keep that in the back of our head. We, we know what we want to accomplish this season. Um, but at the same time, we, we really approach playing in the moment, enjoying what we have together as a team, and just making the most of every single day. You guys were 24 and 42. It's a Kobe thing, right? 24? Yeah. Yeah, most definitely, yes. What uh, what sort of stands out to you, I guess, about the, the mama mentality or what, what, what inspired you to, to wear the number? Kobe is, is someone um, who my sister and I both have just looked up to as a as a mentor person, um, just someone that we've followed our, our whole lives. Um, growing up, he's he's from the same area, and we've had some interactions with him as kids, and, and he never failed to to make us feel special and to make us feel heard. And he's Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball yeah. players of all time. Didn't have to go out of his way, and he always did. And I'll never forget that. Um, and so every time we, we step on the court, you know, we're we're not only playing for ourselves, but but we're playing um, just for people who, who inspire us the way he did. I always thought beach volleyball was so cool because you could wear shades when you're playing. I always wanted to wear a pair of sunglasses when I was playing football, but they wouldn't allow it. They made me wear some lens. Do you guys wear sunglasses and look sweet out there? <laughs> if it's too sunny, well, can I, get I mean, some we have to you? because. Yes. We do wear sunglasses. Yes, I like that. Uh, yeah, but we, we have to because it's um, just for protection. I mean, we're we're yours we're, were functional. Mine were all style. I didn't I didn't need them at all. Yeah, it's pretty functional. <laughs> it's definitely is style though. I'm not gonna both. lie. I mean, Audrey <laughs> and I match with everything. Oh yeah, like, like down that. to the sports bra because we're we're twins, so we make the most of it. Nice. Uh, we keep it identical. Maybe fool fool the opponent if we can. Um, but yeah, the, the glasses are definitely functional, but also definitely a, a style point as well. <laughs> Greatest twins in sports history, the Bryans? I always think of the Bryan brothers in tennis, and they were similar to left, right, Pac-12. Pac are there other the greatest twins in sports history? Anyone come? I feel like you guys would have twin history, but I'm, I'm getting looks like, I know, nope, I, we're the first. <laughs> um, Don't care. Well, in beach volleyball, we've had a couple of identical twins. UCLA, right? Had a couple? Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, we'll talk about them. Well. But, yeah, really? <laughs> um, so maybe it's the perfect sport for it. That yeah. doubles tennis, I guess. <laughs> we had uh, you were in college. We had two on the basketball team, two sets of twins on the basketball the, team. The Cravens, the Tings, on oh, the football oh, the team. Oh, the Tings on the football team, and yes. the Cravens and the Stewarts on the basketball team at the same time. Long line of Trojan twins. Yeah, you I guys think... got to update your history on that. Man. During, <laughs> I, during really Jordan, do. you got to do yeah. your research when you come. You got home. a lot of blank stares from us <laughs> after that comment, but I, I think just um, like just the sibling connection in general is is really special in sports. Yeah. Like obviously, the Williams sisters have yeah. just paved the way um, in their sport and have been real agents of change. It's been inspiring to to see that. Um, even even the J the Jackson siblings here at USC. Um, they're, they're awesome. We love them. So, you know, we, I'm not really aware of many of the twins out there, but, um, the sibling connection is definitely something that's, that's really awesome to see in sports. Well, they're the beach volleyball twins. You can follow them on Instagram and they're really, really, uh, always up to amazing things. I mean, we just scratched the surface. Uh, so if you're, if you're interested, you, I know you guys do incredible things, you know, off of the beach volleyball court too. great students, great student athletes, and, uh, they're headed, uh, for another national championship run. This is a really good beach volleyball team. Come on down and watch them play all season. Another team that is always in the championship mix. That's women's water polo. Tilly Kearns is next on Trojans Live.